Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Confluence. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Confluence works. So if you have no idea about Confluence and how to get started, then this video is for you. Confluence is a powerful web-based team collaboration tool created by the Australian software company Atlassian. It allows teams to create, share, and collaborate on content in real time, making it an ideal tool for knowledge management, project management, and document collaboration. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basics of how to use Confluence. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Confluence tutorial. Getting started with Confluence is easy and straightforward. Whether you already have an account or are new to the platform, the sign-up process is quick and easy, and once you have completed it, you will be taken directly to your Confluence dashboard. The dashboard is your central hub for all your work and collaboration in Confluence, and it contains several key features and tools to help you stay organized and productive. One of the first things you will notice on the dashboard is the top navigation panel. This panel contains several tabs that allow you to easily navigate around the platform and access all of Confluence's key features. Some of the tabs you will see on the top navigation panel include Product Switcher, Home, Recent, Spaces, Teams, Apps, Templates, Invite People, Create, Search Bar, Navigation Panel, Help, Setting, and Profile Section. Each of these tabs serves a unique purpose and can be used to quickly access different parts of the Confluence platform. First I will show you what you can actually find in Confluence, and then I will show you how we can use Confluence. The product switcher is located in the top left corner of the Confluence dashboard, which allows you to switch between the different products offered by Atlassian. In addition to Confluence, Atlassian offers several other products, including Gyra Software, Gyra Work Management, and Trello. The Product Switcher button makes it easy for you to switch between these different products, depending on your needs and preferences. For example, you might use Confluence for document collaboration and knowledge sharing, but switch to Gyra Software for project management or Trello for task tracking. By clicking on the Product Switcher button, you can quickly switch between these different products without having to log into each one separately. This helps to streamline workflows and improve productivity, as you can easily access the tools you need to get your work done. The Home tab is the default landing page when you first log into your Confluence account. This tab provides a snapshot of your recent activities, including pages you have visited, edited, or created. You can use this tab to quickly access recently viewed pages, continue working on in-progress pages, or start a new page. In addition to your recent activity feed, the Home tab also includes several other features. For example, on the Spaces card, you will see all of your favorite spaces that you have starred. You can use this card to quickly navigate to your favorite spaces or create a new space for your team to collaborate in. The Announcement card displays all of the latest announcements from Confluence, such as product updates, new features, and other news. This is a great way to stay informed about what's happening on the platform and learn about the new tools or features that might be useful for your work. Finally, the Home tab also provides an overview of what's happening across the Confluence platform. This includes recent activity from your team members, as well as news and updates from other spaces or projects you are a member of. The Recent tab in Confluence displays a list of your recently viewed and edited pages or blogs. This tab is divided into four sections, Worked On, Created By Me, Starred, and Drafts. In the Worked On section, you can see all the pages or blogs that you have recently worked on. This can be a useful way to quickly access pages that you are actively working on or to see which pages you have recently updated. The Created By Me section displays all the pages or blogs that you have personally created. This can be a useful way to review your own work or to quickly find pages that you have authored in the past. The Starred section displays all the pages or blogs that you have marked as favorites. This can be a useful way to quickly access frequently used pages or blogs without having to navigate through the entire site. Finally, the Drafts section displays all the pages or blogs that you have saved as drafts but have not yet published. This can be a useful way to keep track of works in progress and ensure that you don't accidentally publish incomplete or unfinished content. The Spaces tab in Confluence is where you can manage and access all the spaces that you have created or are a member of. 
In the starred section, you can view all the spaces that you have marked as favorites for quick and easy access. This is a useful way to organize and prioritize the spaces that you use most frequently. You can also view a complete list of all the spaces that you have access to, whether you created them or are a member of them. You can use this section to quickly navigate to any space and view its content. From the Spaces tab, you can also create a new space for your team or project. This can be a useful way to organize your work and collaborate with others more effectively. The Teams tab allows you to manage your teams and collaborate with other users on the platform. Here you can invite new users to Confluence. You can invite people to join your team or you can invite them to the platform as a whole. This is a useful way to expand your network and collaborate with others more effectively. Here you can also search for people and teams. Once you click on Search People and Teams, you will be taken to another page. Here in the People section, you can search for other users on Confluence and view their profiles. This is a useful way to connect with other users and collaborate on content or projects. In the Teams section, you can view a list of all the teams that you are a member of. This is a useful way to keep track of the different teams you are working with and to access their content. Confluence is a powerful tool for collaboration and knowledge sharing, but it can be even more effective when integrated with other apps. By integrating Confluence with other apps, you can streamline workflows, automate tasks, and improve communication. To integrate Confluence with other apps, the first step is to click on the Apps tab at the top navigation panel. Once you click on the Apps tab, a drop-down menu will appear. From this menu, click on Find New Apps. This will take you to the Confluence Marketplace Apps. The Confluence Marketplace Apps is a collection of apps that have been specifically designed to integrate with Confluence. Here you will find a variety of different apps that are designed for different purposes, such as project management, team collaboration, and document automation. Some integrations are free, and some are paid. To integrate an app with Confluence, simply click on the desired app. This will take you to another page where you will see details about the app. Here, click on the Try It Free button, then click on Start Free Trial. This will begin the integration process, and you will be guided through the steps required to integrate the app with Confluence. Moving on to the Templates tab. Here you will find all the templates available to use for your projects. Once you click on this tab, you will be taken to the Confluence Templates Gallery, where you will see all the templates available. The templates are divided into categories such as Business Strategy, Design, Docs and Reports, etc. You can also search for a specific template in the search bar to find what you need quickly. In the Invite People tab, you can invite people to Confluence by entering their email. This is a convenient way to invite team members or collaborators to your Confluence space. The Create button in Confluence is used to create a new page. Once you click on this button, a new blank page will be created where you can add content or a roadmap to it. You can also choose from different types of page templates such as meetings, blog posts, and more. In the Import section, you can convert an external document, Word document, Google Doc, OneDrive, into a Confluence page. On the top section, you have some options like Emoji, Table, Layouts, if you want to change the layout of your page, and the Insert menu to insert a code snippet, quote, date, status, tables of contents, and more into your page. The search bar in Confluence can be used to find what you need across different products of Atlassian, such as Confluence, Gyra, and Trello. Simply enter your search query in the search bar and hit enter to view the results. The notification bar in Confluence is where you will receive all of your notifications. You can view all of your notifications from the last 30 days here, including notifications related to page updates, comments, mentions, and more. The Help tab in Confluence provides you with access to a range of resources, including articles and the community. You can use this tab to view what's new in Confluence, give feedback, and find answers to your questions. The Settings tab in Confluence is where you can manage your settings, including site administration, configuration, and more. You can use this tab to customize your Confluence experience and tailor it to your needs. The Profile section in Confluence is where you can manage your account. Here you can manage your personal space, profile, tasks, and more. You can use this section to update your profile information, view your tasks and recent activity, and more. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Confluence.
You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you! So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for